Well, you never saw it coming, but then, hmm, my God, my God. Haaland is the man of the match. You don't need to say anything about that, but then, Asna, it's not over yet. Manchester City, it's not over yet, but then, are you guys about to make it again, you know? <laughs> ah, well, let me just bring you to speed with everything happening from the water sports this morning, and I will be concentrating on England because of the game yesterday between Manchester City and, of course, Tottenham Hotspur. My name is Ramsey, and this is... Midweek spot. Let me begin with the match that was played yesterday. How did it really happen? Haaland scored twice, of course, to settle what I call Manchester City's nerve as the Premier League uh, champions are beat Tottenham. 2-0 in that game and um, that game if you watch it very well you can see that those sides the two sides didn't just come there to play and when that take a giant step uh, of a historic uh, fourth consecutive English title oh my god four consecutive English title uh, Tuesday is pregnant Tuesday is pregnant what really is going to happen on Tuesday nobody know yet but it takes a Pep Guardiola's team uh, two points clear to Arsenal at the top of uh, the table and means a victory at Etihad against West Ham on Sunday. Hmm. It's going to make them the champion for the fourth straight time in the season. Would that really happen? Would they be able to win uh, West Ham? Someone will be saying, ah, West Ham, they will win them. Someone will say, hey, West Ham is going to give them a run for their money. That is the game. We're talking about uh, a Premier League there for them to win it. Uh, uh, four times uh, straight It's not going to be very easy. But then it's twiddling towards that direction but what about Asna? Asna is still in the picture there are some clubs that already know where they are going to fall somebody said something he said well for third position <laughs> these guys already know that is where they belong i don't want to call their name they know themselves all right it was a very fantastic one as a matter of fact regardless of uh, the gunners result against everton no team in english top up top flight already in history has ever won four title in a row but it's about to happen but will it really happen i don't know that is uh, if the defeat spore also it will guarantee that aston villa will finish in the fourth uh, uh, champion uh, uh, ship league uh, sport uh, joining City, Arsenal, Liverpool in Europa uh, top tier competition and that's going to be uh, next uh, season. Let's see how that is going to go. But Manchester City are uh, won uh, with a way uh, well uh, getting their sixth uh, Premier League uh, title in six uh, seasons. Uh, and of course, uh, let me just let you know one more thing that the only way Fred could actually change is Arsenal. If Arsenal win against Everton, then the table has turned again. And of course, uh, Manchester City drawing uh, or losing against West Ham. This is how the game is. It has come to permutation now. It has come to, well, put two here, put one here, win here, lose here. Then you know what's up. But as it is right now, it is going to be a tough game. Moving away from there, let me bring you to speed with other things happening from the world of sports. Today, I said I'm really going to talk sport. All right. It's not going to be your usual uh, presentation. But then we are talking sport right here. Manchester United have announced that, oh my God, Rafa Varane will leave Old Trafford at the end of the season. That's back to the world of transfer after three years with the club. It's been a very wonderful time. Well, they will surely uh, miss him. Are they going to miss him? Manchester United fans, are you going to meet Varane? All right, let's see how that is going to happen. Three years he's been with the club. Varane arrived uh, in uh, a 40 million pounds. That's uh, about a 50.2 million dollars deal from Real Madrid in 2021. And of course, uh, uh, it has made uh, a very, very good uh, uh, look for the team as he has made some appearances, about uh, 93 appearances for the club. And he has also uh, played a key part in every uh, and Hags uh, uh, team last uh, season. If you watch him very well, you will know that he was instrumental to so many things that happened in the team as United actually finished third in the Premier League and won the Carabao Cup. Uh, well, I think that's a good one. He's on a good fit. If he is living, it's not so bad. Uh, he is living uh, very tall. Uh, then uh, let me talk about Kylian Mbappe. It has been in the air that Kylian Mbappe was going to leave, especially when PSG lost. Hmm. The Champions League. 
You could remember I'm taking you guys back. I want to take you back memory lane because that Champions League match that they lost. He said he tried his best because uh, some persons were trying to fault him. Some persons were like trying to say, hey, why didn't he do what he's actually doing uh, for his club? And I was like, hey, come on. One person cannot make a team. That was what I felt. And some persons were of the same school of thought because um, some persons want to blame him that, hey, wow, PSG, you would have made it for PSG before you leave and all of that. But then... Uh, uh, it wasn't uh, Kalen Mpape's uh, fault that PSG is out of the Champions League. But as it is right now, uh, Kalen Mpape has said that uh, he has a very exciting future. And that's the most important thing, having an exciting future ahead after leaving uh, Paris and Germain, saying that uh, it's the right moment to move on from the League One club because it is good to leave when the ovation is high. When the hand clap is high, it is better to leave. And it is better to be where you are actually celebrated than being where you are being tolerated because... Uh, <laughs> Ah, you got what you know and you know what you got. All right, moving away from there, the France star talking about uh, uh, Kylian Mbappe has a last, uh, announced the last week that uh, he would be leaving PSG when his contract expired this summer and he is uh, and now widely expected to join longer uh, term uh, suitors. I call them suitors. Do you know why I want to call them suitors? <laughs> I'm talking about Real Madrid, so without me even saying, you should know what I'm talking about right now. Kylian Mbappe is excited. If there is any club he will want to go to, it's Real Madrid. You know how it means. Uh, moving from PSG, then you're going to Real Madrid. I think um, it's not a bad one, but let's see what will happen. It is not how far, but how well. Kylian Mbappe, uh, a very good wish for you if you actually get to Real Madrid. Mbappe was named a Liga Fronta, a player of the season for the fifth year in a row at an award ceremony in Paris. And that was uh, on Monday, just... Um, two days ago and of course uh, that is to tell you that um he's been doing fantastically well and right now as i bring uh, uh today midweek sports to a close let me quickly take you to nigeria because they say charity begins at home good things are happening back home in nigeria of course i need to start from england because of the matches that were played yesterday but now i am back home to nigeria hey my people how we day make i begin speak uh, the pigeon inside make una no say MC Ramsey don't reach house. We don't de house. We want to talk about things happening from the sports scene in Nigeria here. And where do I start from? The National League side, the Nasarawa United, have congratulated their goalkeeper trainer, Olatunji Barowa, uh, for retaining his position in the Super Eagles coaching crew. Well, he actually worked uh, with the past coach, uh, talking about Pesero, and now he's coming into the scene again. I think uh, this is a good one. I actually applauded that because uh, he didn't really do badly. If you look at what Mwakali did uh, during the African Cup of Nations, you should know that the goalkeeper trainer didn't just work in vain. And maybe that's part of the reason they are bringing him back again into the game. And of course, uh, I was so excited when I saw Pesero uh, working very hard to make sure uh, Mwakali gets a good and better club than uh, uh, Chipa United where he is uh, right now. But then, uh, I think uh, the best news and the good news right now is that the goalkeeper trainer, Barawa, is returning back uh, into the crew of the Super Ego Barawa. Actually, I uh, was listed among uh, uh, Super Ego's uh, backroom staff, uh, and that happened on Monday. Remember that the unveiling actually happened on Monday, and uh, these uh, uh, coaches were actually unveiled alongside. Uh, he previously worked in the same position on that previous handler, talking about uh, Jose Pesero. And as a matter of fact, uh, congratulations to our uh, goalkeeper, uh, Coach Ola Tunji Barawa, as he maintained his position as the Super Ego's goalkeeper trainer this is coming on the uh X uh, handle of Nasara United. When I say X handle, I'm referring to Twitter. It's no longer Twitter. It's called X now. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I know all of you know, Sha. I just did joke. All right, moving away from there, still in Nigeria, right here. Shiamaka uh, Naduzie has actually emerged as the first African to win the National Union of Professional Footballers Award for the best goalkeeper in the French La, uh, Women's uh, Top uh, Light League. Naduzie was actually recognized for her dazzling display for Paris FC in the 2023 2024 uh, season you know how she do her things uh, even uh, in the Super Falcom you know how fantastic she is she is ready to do anything to make sure she stops the goal she's actually a goal stopper just like Mwakali did in the African Cup of Nations and moving away from there uh, let me just bring to your notice uh, that I'll return back again when am I returning back that's going to be on Friday when I bring you to speed with 
everything that's going to be happening uh, over the weekend and things that will happen in the water sport between now and of course Friday. It's good to have you right there and it's good for you to be part of uh, everything happening on the channel. If you've not subscribed before to the channel, Obeleke TV is the name of the channel. Go on YouTube and subscribe right now. Turn on the notification button so you will be the first uh, to get uh, the sporting gist, the entertainment, uh, the surprises. Of course, the intrigues, not just the intrigues. Ah, the, oh, why are you doing like this? Why are you doing like that? <laughs> you know, sometimes if you are not the one playing, if you're outside, not spectators, now then they savvy play, pass players sometimes. Why are you not doing like this? Why are you not doing like that? <laughs> Especially when they have done one or two, three betting. All right, well, that's just the fun part of uh, a sport. Sport ignites. Sport is entertaining. And that's the reason everyone watch sport, including you. I will return again on Friday. Have a beautiful day ahead of you. Bye-bye for now. My name is MC Ramsey with Jesse number 10. Bye-bye.